Brandon Myers cheering on Dakota Wilson. Time for them to go out and get their qualifying laps in. Three laps of qualifying. Looks like it'll be two heats tonight. And then the big feature event. All right, Dakota Wilson out qualifying, Garmy out qualifying, Graham Nucky out on track, Brian Mansfield out getting his laps in, Kevin Martin getting out there, Steven Slider Lindo out there as well, Butch Baker rolling out on track, Isaac Salas, Jason Holder. And I know newcomer Paul Ems had done some practice laps. I have not seen him take to the track yet for qualifying, though. We'll keep an eye on that. Might be a situation where he does not race tonight. Maybe just came out to practice. Oh, we missed out. Apparently, Dakota launched it uh, to pit road again. Let's see. See if Isaac does. He's always good for uh, sending it. And the prediction was definitely right. There he goes. Double barrel roll and sticks the landing. What a maneuver. We're going to have to score that one about an 8.8. .8. That was amazing, Isaac. Great job, buddy. <laughs> Michael Whiting still out there. Let's see if he tries to send it here in a moment. He currently qualified fifth. Isaac Salas is the fastest right now. Pretty impressive considering he did not get any practice on a fresh track. Yeah, we we saw that live, Isaac. We scored you with an 8.7, I believe. That was pretty impressive. Double barrel roll, stuck the landing, slid it backwards into the fence. <laughs> Josh Kaufman laughing at Isaac. Like we all really were after that stunt. That was pretty impressive, though. <laughs> Just a few seconds left in qualifying, and it looks like newcomer Paul Ems is not qualifying here tonight, so we will have just a moment before they hop into heat number one. Make sure you take a minute, hit the share button, hit the heart on Facebook, share the Twitch and the everything else, and don't forget to follow us if you have the Twitter. Uh, you can find that link on the website because I can never remember what the Twitter is, but you can... You get an alert, a tweet thingy every time uh, we go live. And it is worth mentioning, uh, you know we've done a lot for MS. Really appreciate everybody's help with that. And Richie West, hopefully you'll get it on this. The uh, Starting on September 10th, the Streamed M End MS, which is run by the MS Society, is doing a 48 hours of MS awareness event. So they're going to streamers take a four-hour block of time. And we just kind of keep passing it on and keep it going and and try and keep talking about ms and just to raise awareness we'll have a link to raise a little bit of money but for the most part it's just raising awareness in the community 
and I will be taking part in that and I'm working with several leagues we're probably going to have a fun race that I broadcast because I've learned my lesson and I'm not going to try and do another four hour solo event however Yes, you even parked it nice, Isaac. However, we will have leagues. We'll have some special events put on by HTSAI. We'll have a little bit of in-car. We'll have a little bit of broadcast. We'll have a whole lot of fun. So definitely check that out. Follow us on Facebook to find out more. All right, heat number one will be Isaac Salas and Kevin Martin. Michael Whiting and David Garman on the second row. Patrick Coluccio and Graham Nucky on the third row. I think Isaac might have blinked there for a moment. Keep an eye on that. I know he had some issues a couple weeks ago when he was actually battling for the lead. So hopefully his uh, internet will stay stable. Graham Nucky and Patrick Coluccio were holding hands down the back straightaway. Kevin Martin trying to get the pace truck to go a little faster here. You can always tell these guys when they want to start having fun, they start goofing off on pace laps, makes everything really entertaining. Pace truck diving off. Isaac Salas on the inside, Kevin Martin on the outside. Green flag is in the air. Off into turn one, side by side. Isaac gets clear as they complete lap number one Kevin Martin right there on the back bumper David Garman looking to the bottom out of turn two down the back straight away Garman looking for second place here now he is gonna clear Kevin no he does not get clear Kevin Kevin fighting back up on that high side but now Garman gets clear will he be able to run Isaac down here Six laps to go and eight tenths of a second difference. Isaac has a lot of clear track ahead of him. Meanwhile, Kevin Martin still fighting, trying to get back into second. Michael Whiting back in fourth. Patrick Coluccio is in fifth. Graham Nucky right there on the back bumper of Coluccio for sixth. Isaac Salas' lead is starting to shrink over two tenths of a second that lap. But will it be enough time for Garmin to get up there and pass him? Isaac still holding on with two laps to go. Garmin is closing down. Graham Nucky involved in an incident. No caution yet. And Isaac managing to maintain the distance. As they come down, they get the white flag. He's got to hold Garmin off one more time. Garmin really closes up that time. It's going to be close, but Isaac Salas wins heat number one. And now, will he send it off into pit road like we saw in practice? Nope. All right. Heat number two. Jason Holder and Stephen Lindo on the front row. Butch Baker, Dakota Wilson on the second row. Brian Mansfield and Paul Ems on the third row. Although Paul Ems did not qualify, I do not expect to see him out on track. And it does not look like... Paul is gritting here. And Isaac Salas fan club in the house. We got Buddy Arthur Boggs, Josh Kaufman. And if Isaac wins, <laughs> he's going to get the Gawk Gawk 9000. Now I'm going to have to look that up in a minute. <laughs> I am extremely curious what that one is, buddy. <laughs> I 
Jason Holder on the inside. Steven Lindo on the outside. Pace truck is in. Green flag is in the air. Jason Holder gets a nose out ahead as they go down into turn number one. And you saw Holder. He hit that bump. We heard Garmin talk about it earlier. That bump getting down into turn one on that bottom line unsettles, makes the car push, and he lost a ton of ground. Uh, Steven Lindo now out front, and Butch Baker down to the inside looking for a second. Oh, Butch Baker and Jason touch briefly. Butch backs out of it, lets Jason get the car straightened out. Dakota Wilson back in fourth, trying to run these guys back down, but he's got Brian Mansfield right on the back bumper. Meanwhile, Lindo is starting to open up a bit of a lead, almost a full second over second place Jason Holder. Butch Baker right there in third, and Dakota Wilson starting to close the gap down in fourth. Brian Mansfield back in fifth, losing a little bit of ground. Uh, to Dakota right now. Unusual to see Brian Mansfield going backwards on a dirt track. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Thanks, buddy. John Lucido here cheering on the 80 of Dakota Wilson. And Steven Slider Lindo is going to come down and take the white flag in heat number two. He's got just about a one second lead over Holder. Everybody pretty much settled into position. Steven Lindo wins heat number two, followed by Jason Holder, then Butch Baker in third. Dakota Wilson comes home fourth and sends it off the track. And Brian Mansfield finishes fifth. All right, now for their warm-up. <laughs> I will be sure to leave it at that. And got to give a shout out to Butch Baker in heat number two, almost spun an opponent, backed out of it, let the let him get resettled. That was some great uh, sportsmanship, and that is one thing that is huge with this uh, group of drivers is being fair and decent to each other. And Butch Baker definitely showed he is definitely one of those guys. I think we've seen it just out of just about. <laughs> Isaac did not fly at that time. I think we've seen that kind of thing out of about every driver out here this season, giving room when they make a mistake and letting guys settle back in. But uh, just a, a great show of the sportsmanship, the friendships, the camaraderie of this group. Graham Nucky, currently fourth fastest. He said he was just lucky earlier when we talked to him about it, but here he is. Um, being fairly consistent with his lap times and pretty fast here tonight. Could we see the Australian get his first dirt win here tonight? And you did hear him say when he gets that first dirt win, nobody will be happier than him. I think there's a few guys in this league that probably would be a little bit happier just to see him get that win. David Garman not even taking to the track for warm-up. Knowing Garman, he ran outside for a moment. Tyler Robertson here cheering on Brian Mansfield. Currently fifth fastest as chaos ensues going into turn three. Looked like Lindo might have gotten high center trying to get off pit road. 
Some of these dirt track pit roads are very tricky to get off of. Especially in these lower slung cars as... Oh, Graham Nucky just barely avoids <laughs> getting hit by Kevin Martin. Oh, Michael Whining sends it through there. Uh, David Garman is rolling out to get some warm-up laps in. And you know a lot of these guys will be gunning for David Garman tonight. You've heard everybody talk about it. Patrick Coluccio, Lindo, Isaac all have said the same thing. They want to get, uh, they want to beat him and close that points gap up. As of tonight, it's a 50-point lead from David Garman to Patrick Coluccio. All right, just a few seconds left in practice. Just enough time to hit the snack bar and the share button. And again, don't forget to check out the sponsors for both the Cup Series tonight, National HDD, as well as B Make Designs and Majors Garage, who sponsor the entire league. Huge shout out to all of them. And if you need iRacing setups, go check out Majors Garage. All right, warm up is over, qualifying is over, heats are done. It's time to go racing. Isaac Salas and Stephen Lindo starting on the front row. David Garman, Jason Holder starting on the second row. Michael Whiting and Butch Baker on the third row. Kevin Martin and Dakota Wilson, seventh and eighth. Ninth is Patrick Coluccio. Brian Mansfield starting back in tenth. Graham Nucky starting in eleventh. And you've heard your Garmin speak of it earlier tonight. We saw it happen in that second heat. Starting on that bottom line can be a bit treacherous, especially with that big bump into turn number one. They're going to have to get up as high as they can to avoid that uh, little bit of a bump there. And Isaac is pushing the pace car. Jake Harbaugh saying his money is on Isaac here tonight. Isaac has been pretty dominant recently in the big blocks and the 360s. We'll see if he starts working his way forward here tonight and giving Garmin a run for his money. Maybe help close up that uh, points lead that Garmin has. Pace truck is in. Green flag is in the air. And Isaac Salas down into turn one. He gets it high enough. Garmin hits the bump, but Isaac avoids it. Now Isaac to the lead, clearing Slider Lindo. Now, and now Garmin looking to the inside for second. Can't get there yet. Michael Whiting on the move. Brian Mansfield involved in an incident on the first lap. Let's see if we can see what happened. Oh, he just gets together with Patrick Coluccio, and they both go off onto pit road. No caution as they cleared the track. Now caution is out. 
I'm guessing the caution came out due to both of them trying to get off of pit road because it is... Brian Mansfield came out seconds behind him. I'm guessing that is what drew the caution out. We saw it happen uh, Monday night as well. In the meantime, Isaac Salas continuing to lead. And Monday night at Lernerville, we saw the same thing with the pit road exit. With some of these pit road exits, the way they're positioned, especially the ones you have to drop down onto the track, uh, when these drivers stop, if their nose is just too far forward, it will trigger the caution. But uh, you, as you saw, had Coluccio come flying off pit road, he would have taken out half the field. So great move by them and hey it gives everybody a chance to tighten the pack back up and see what they got Isaac Salas will lead him back down for the restart pace truck is in Uh, they delayed the green. They are getting Brian Mansfield back to the lead lap so that everybody is back onto the lead lap here. Pace truck will be back out for just a moment. Should see that pace truck disappear this time. Pace truck is in. Green flag is back in the air. Isaac Salas down into turn one. He catches a little bit of that bump, loses some ground. Garmin right there, and oh! Lindo gets into the door, and then he gets turned around. We'll see a caution here as half the field gets caught up. And a lot of cars just getting tangled up there. And it looked like Lindo just drifted down a little bit, got into the door of Isaac, and they all get turned around there. Isaac Salas in the, uh, will maintain the lead lap, but now back in 11th place. But we've seen him come from further back to win. In fact, that was something we talked about with him before the race is the fact that uh, he is, this track, if it stays green, lap traffic will become an issue. David Garman all season long has been out front, not had to negotiate a lot of traffic, whereas Isaac has had to come from the back a couple of times and has gotten exceedingly good at negotiating the traffic and getting to the front. We'll see if he can do it again here tonight. Pace truck is in. Green flag back in the air. Off into turn one. Single file restart. Garmin looking to the low side. We've got a car around. Caution is out. And it looks like it was Patrick Coluccio went around in Turn one. Oh, Coluccio caught that bump on the bottom, got sideways, got hit from behind.
Isaac Salas managed to pick up one position there. So Stephen Lindo up front, Garmin in second, Michael Whiting in third, Jason Holder fourth, Dakota Wilson is fifth, Graham Nucky sixth, Butch Baker is seventh, Brian Mansfield eighth, Kevin Martin ninth, Isaac Salas is tenth, Patrick Coluccio back in eleventh. I get the one to go. We'll see. They'll probably go single file restart one more time. Now the question becomes, how fast can Isaac get back up to the front? Pace truck is in. Green flag is in the air. And it looks like Butch Baker started looking low really quickly. He is starting to make his way forward. Brian Mansfield gets... Bumped around right in front of Isaac. Everybody keeps going the right way. Butch Baker getting into Dakota Wilson there briefly. Isaac Salas already back up to eighth place. Running down Dakota Wilson and Graham Nucky. And David Garman battling Lindo. He's going to take the lead out of turn four. Lindo now to second. Michael Whiting third. Butch Baker now battling for third. Michael Whiting back to fourth. Here comes Jason Holder on the bottom. He is going to try and take the position from Michael Whiting as well. Michael Whiting carrying a lot of momentum up high. Right behind this battle for fifth. Here comes Isaac Salas in sixth place now. Trying to run down Jason Holder, but Butch Baker... Starting to close down on the two lead cars as Lindo is trying to find any way he can around Garmin. Michael Whiting making that high line work. He is starting to work back past Jason Holder now. And here comes Isaac flying up towards, oh, a little bit of a tap there. Michael Whiting backs out of it to make sure they don't wreck and drops down to the bottom. He's going to try and carry some momentum around the bottom there. Isaac way down, though, catches the bump in turn one. Butch Baker now to third. Slide, Steven Slider Lindo in second. And David Garmy still holding on to the lead. This battle from about third or fourth on back, really third is Butch Baker right there in third, Michael Whiting in fourth, Jason Holder in fifth, Isaac Salas in sixth, Isaac going way high in turns one and two, trying to carry as much momentum and it is working. He gets right to the back bumper of Jason Holder right in front of him. Michael Whiting is battling with Butch Baker trying to take that position. Jason Holder, Isaac Salas side by side, Isaac down to the bottom, he clears him. Now Jason Holder looking to cross over and get back to the, get the position back. Doesn't have the momentum though. Graham Nucky has gone to pit road. Meanwhile, David Garman has now opened a one second lead over Stephen Lindo. Butch Baker, two point Two seconds back, and oh, Isaac just gets into the side of Michael Whiting briefly, gets backs out of the throttle, lets him get settled again. They'll go at it again. Jason Holder trying to take advantage on the bottom. Isaac really sending it in there, trying to get back up towards the front. Butch Baker and Michael Whiting side by side for third. Isaac trying to find any way around this battle. Oh, Isaac gets into the back of Michael Whiting. Michael manages to save the car.
Stephen Lindo in second is continuing to lose a little bit of ground to David Garman every lap. It is now a 1.2 second lead. Butch Baker in third, 2.7 seconds back from this group. Isaac Salas closing up on him now. Isaac Salas down to the bottom, and he is easily going to pass his buddy Butch and take third. Now can Isaac run him down? But Butch Baker fighting back down on the bottom. Nothing doing yet. He can't get any momentum yet, and it is Isaac Salas to third. Now Isaac, 2.9 seconds back from Lindo. 4.2 seconds back from David Garman. 19 laps to go. Garman has a 1.7 second lead as of right now. Hey, Richie West, yes, he is, uh, <laughs> Isaac is flying through this field, and he has closed the gap down to 2.1, say two, almost two seconds. On the Lindo. Lost a little ground that time by. 16 laps to go here. And Garmin about to be in some lap traffic. This is definitely going to help Lindo, Salas, and Baker as he closes up on the back bumper of Dakota Wilson and Brian Mansfield. And Dakota Wilson, Brian Mansfield still battling for position here as Garmin comes along, drops down to the inside. And he is still pulling away from Lindo. Now 2.4 seconds. Meanwhile, Salas has closed that gap to Lindo to 1.7 seconds. And getting closer every single turn. Right at a second as they cross the line. Lindo been watching in his mirror. Apparently, he has figured out the line Isaac is running, trying to make that work for himself. But Isaac jumps up to the high side to carry that momentum around. Now, Isaac right to the back bumper. And these two are closing the gap on David Garman with 10 laps to go. It is still right at three seconds, but... Nine laps to go. And Isaac really sending it up on the high side. He's got to run on Lindo. But now the lap traffic will come into play. And Brian Mansfield off track on the high side. Lost a lot of momentum there. Lindo still fighting on the bottom while these two are battling. Garmin is starting to open up his lead. Now Isaac firmly in second place. Seven, six laps to go. Garmin has a three and a half second lead right now over Isaac Salas in second. Isaac still has a lap car of Dakota Wilson right in front of him. Oh, Dakota Wilson gets the wall. Isaac drops to the bottom through the turn, easily slides by Dakota here. Four laps to go, 3.2 seconds. That is the difference between first and second place. Lindo still holding on to third. Butch Baker back and forth. Patrick Coluccio now up to fifth. Jason Holder to sixth. Michael Whiting is in 7th. Kevin Martin is 8th. Ninth is Dakota Wilson. 10th is Brian Mansfield. 
Two laps to go. About a lap and a half left, actually, for David Garman. He's going to take the white flag as he comes out of turn four. As he comes around the last time, David Garman has no traffic to worry about, nothing to care about. Garman wins again. Isaac Salas coming home in second. Stephen Lindo to third. Butch Baker is in fourth. Patrick Coluccio comes home in fifth. Jason Holder sixth. Michael Whiting is seventh. Kevin Martin is eighth. Dakota Wilson comes home ninth. Brian Mansfield comes home tenth. Graham Nucky eleventh. Finishes on pit road. <laughs> Richie West made a comment. Garmy has it won as long as he doesn't try and stop a lap early. We're not going to look at that car. <laughs> All right, let's get a word with our winner here. Hey, Garmin, it's Doug. You got me? Oh, I thought Doug. <laughs> well, another dominant win. I think it was uh, like a three and a half second gap there at the end. Yeah, it was a fun race. Uh, I know um isaac and steve got into it at the beginning of the race so yeah it was fun i had to make some passes early so i did I'm excited. i'm happy i did notice on that first start you mentioned it in the pre-race about the little bump into turn one and then you ended up catching it a couple of different times yeah i mean there's there's if you run the low line you just risk it every time you run it um it's just a matter of getting practice and getting used to it so i don't know I'm all. I well, these cars I like to run the low line. It's just they handle better down there, and just that bump throws them off a little bit. So, I don't know. Well, it didn't seem to bother you tonight. You got another win, further extending your points lead tonight. Congratulations, bud. Yeah, thanks, Doug. <laughs> all right, that was your winner, David Garman. Second place, Isaac Salas. Let's see if we can get a word with him. Hey, Isaac, this is Doug. You got me. I do. <laughs> so, uh, how many more laps? You were gaining on Garmin that last part of the run. How many more laps did you need? A lot. <laughs> I needed a lot. I needed more lap traffic. Man, ah. It was fun. Well, you did manage to pull off another. You get caught in an incident, have to go. You ended up in 11th at one point and still managed to work your way all the way back up to second. So, that's uh, <laughs> still one heck of an accomplishment. Yeah, boss. I mean, I think the big thing was I just kind of stayed persistent. Um, I found a line that worked for me that nobody was running. Uh, I think that was the best part, actually. I think I didn't really have to deal with much, much people up there. And I could just kind of focus on my lap times and uh, kind of start reeling those guys in, even though there was a lot of cars in between me and them. Um, great race to Garmin, Lindo. I think Butch finished top four, so that's... Always, always happy to see Butch up there, but uh, it was fun. It was a, it was a pretty clean race actually by mostly everybody except for that little incident that I think I caused. To be honest with you, I think the car just pushed straight up the corner and slammed into Lindo. So I'm sorry about that. If I caused any damage, I mean, I hope, hopefully, it looks like I did most of the damage to myself. But that's, I guess, it's a racing deal. Uh, that does happen, but uh, at the end of the night, coming home second, that was uh, a great run tonight, bud. Yeah, thank you. Thank you to everybody who watched. Thank you to uh, all my little fans that I know showed up for once. So uh, <laughs> thank you to them. Um, yeah, man, thanks for putting on a good show. Thanks for the broadcast. I mean, I think the big this number, this Valvoline number five, even though it doesn't say number five, she was running hot today. So it was over, it was overall pretty fun. All right, man. Well, congratulations. Great run, bud. Awesome. Thank you, sir. All right. Let's see if we can get a word with Lindo, if he's still available. Yes, he is. Hey, Steve, this is Doug. You got me? Yes, sir. How's it going, Doug? Hey, man. Good. Heck of a run tonight, and you actually were hanging with Garmin there for a little bit. Yeah. Then I started messing up. I My car kept getting real tight going through the turns unfortunately that's where i really started dropping back and then isaac caught me i think isaac probably would have caught me regardless but um it didn't help with it getting as tight as it was 
Well, regardless, I mean, you were constantly in the fight tonight, in the top three all night, and while uh, while Garmin comes home with the win, by my math, you should take second in points. Uh, I think Isaac would get it over me. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Yep. As he finished. Yeah, one. you're right. Well, I don't, I don't remember what the split is between second and third, but regardless, it was a good race. I, a lot, Everyone had a lot of fun, so. <laughs> well, congratulations, man. Another top three, another podium finish, so great job tonight, buddy. Yes, sir. Thank you, Doug. All right, and thank you guys for tuning in tonight. That was a lot of fun, both the Cup Series at Vegas and the limited late models here from Cedar Lake. Don't forget to check out the YouTube channel. The races will be on there later tonight. Uh, you can find the link at htsai.net, and you can find all the past outlaw races that we have broadcast there as well. Hope you guys had as much fun as we did and enjoyed that. I think Dakota Wilson is worn out, apparently. But uh, great job by Dakota. Great job by everybody tonight. Congratulations. Thank you for watching.